So when I started putting together ideas for, uh, for Limerick Daydreams, uh, I was kind of going through a, a phase of really digging uh, Irish music, and I wanted to uh, take this existing tune, the, the tune that I cho chose was uh, Highway to Limerick, which is a reel. So the very opening of the piece that you hear, you hear the first four notes of the reel. Ba -da -da -da. With this opening in the, the marimbas and then kind of these sparkling uh, bits in the, uh, in the vibraphone, which actually is a preview of some of the things to come in later sections. And uh, we also have the bass drum that comes in with this which is uh, kind of emulating the, the Irish drawing. So after the climax of the opening section, uh, we have these uh, the cymbals and tam-tams and everything that are rolling and it just explodes into this drumming section in 12-8. This goes into the, uh, the first full statement of the reel but it's in a, uh, a jig-like format. So I, I really um, love to approach pieces from a programmatic standpoint. Uh, it, it's one of my favorite things, bringing in elements from uh, from books, from poems, paintings, whatever, anything that's extra musical. This piece was not one of those pieces. Uh, I actually, the only thing uh, for me that was outside of what I was coming up with, uh, coming up originally, uh, was the Irish tune. The way that I started out with this was just taking that tune and putting this on a, a sheet of uh, manuscript paper, just having all the notes in a, a line. Uh, coming up with a counter melody to go with it. So in the end, I had this full page of thematic material. So the piece was, was really halfway written. And then the next step for me was, uh, it's very dry and kind of boring, but coming up with a kind of a paper outline, you know, like you would a research paper. What that does for you, once you have all of these thematic uh, ideas written out on the page, you have the outline, it's kind of plugging things in and the piece almost writes itself. I did a uh, symphonic band adaptation of Limerick Daydreams uh, about maybe a year after the original was written. Leading up to, to this recording session, uh, Lance Dreggy said, uh, yeah, you know, I just checked out the, a recording of the band version and, you know, I was studying the score and I, I noticed that you know, there was Tam Tam right here and there's piano. So I said, well, you know, when you when you revisit a piece, you know, if you can just score it out exactly the way that you did it, but when you have so many more voices, it it's it'd be kind of silly not to add another counterline here or not to add another color when you have these available on your palette. So the the wind ensemble version has uh, has piano in it, and I did revisit some things in the percussion section just to help color what's happening in the low brass or, or, or elsewhere in the ensemble. So we did, we brought in some of the elements from the wind ensemble version and put them in this particular performance of Limerick Daydreams. 